Oh no, there goes the Cascade Mariner. Come on, come on. Where are they going? No. Well, this is what you call missing the boat. I'm Doug Dixon, general manager at Pacific Fishman Shipyard. We build and repair boats here, primarily for the king crab fisher. We have a lot of sophisticated machinery for taking care of their needs. Two marine railways that can lift out to 600 tons, and we have a third screw lift dock that can lift a 600 ton vessel as well. Regulars here include the deadliest catches, uh, Northwestern and the Wizard and Far West Leader, Sea Star. They all call this home to have their vessels repaired. Doug's chaos, organized chaos. We have all this dirt and crap here they need to clean up. This is not satisfactory. When was the last time it was vacuumed? It's been a while. Well, then why doesn't it happen? Doug's an intense individual. Doug can be hard on you. These are supposed to be covered. They've been asked to cover them, and they just don't get around to cover them. Heads are going to roll. She's in charge of cleaning my desk, which you can see that uh, she has performance issues. He's, uh, he's colorful. I guess that would be a good description of Doug. <laughs> We have five trades here. We have the shipwrights, the boiler makers that do the welding. We have the machinists, the electricians, and the laborers, which is the dry dock crew. My name's David Lombardi. I'm the machine shop foreman, which pertains to all the shafts, stern tubes, anything mechanical. It's my responsibility to make sure it's right. I want to be the best of the best. My way is the right way, and it's the best way. You know what you say to a guy with a 40 IQ? Nice weld. Nice weld. <laughs> That's because you guys aren't smart enough. My name's Dave Means. I've been at Pacific Fisherman for approximately 35, 36 years. Mean Dave. Mean Dave. Mean Dave. He really Dave. beats us actually to get us to work. Recently started the welder performance position. Dave Means. Old fart that knows a lot and he is the one that I respect the most and has the most knowledge. We've got smart asses in this shop and you got dumb asses over in your shop. No, it's the other way. A mind that's weak yeah. and a back that's strong. Then you come into the machine shop and you got strong minds no. and weak backs. <laughs> Some of the dangerous things in this facility people don't realize. Just try and not aim your torch down to the fuel tank. I don't want to have anybody blowing up today. Sometimes we lose control of a situation. Right now we had a little oil spill on one of these boats, so we were containing it with an oil boom. This is definitely my dad's fault. I got some uh, of the boom wrapped up in the wheel on my skiff, so we're gonna try and pick it up with the crane to get the, get the oil boom back out. Taylor's a great guy. He's our um, dock master. I think we should just drop this whole rudder off. It's so tight in this packing. How the hell did you do this? Kai is his son, works for him. This is in there real good. Good, good thing I got my son here to tell me all the things I did wrong all day long. That's why he hired me. It's great working with my son down here. I get a chance to see him every day. I really enjoy being able to work here with my old man. He's gonna retire here another year or two. I'm gonna try and learn as much as I can from him and see if I can't take over when he decides to keep the bucket here. So you, you wish. <laughs> The core gang of 50 guys, they want to be here. They enjoy making the boats safe and sending them on their way. We have to work more than an eight hour day, often Saturdays and Sundays. We have no choice. Those boats have to be out there when the season opens. I'm proud of every job we do. Knowing that the boats leave here, they go up north, they go fishing, they don't have any problems and they come back and after they break them, we fix them again. Typical day at the shipyard, never know what to expect. Hey, Jack, come on in for a scotch. Sure.